Tina here, back for another video. Today I'm going to provide you with a list of foods to avoid before singing and also give you a few foods and drinks that you can have before, during and after a performance. So let's begin. The very first thing on the list is dairy. Dairy creates excess mucus and can provide a bit of discomfort during a performance. You don't want to be spinning or swallowing frequently during a performance or, you know, worst case scenario, choking on your spit. So just avoid that for that reason. Similarly, you can also avoid juices. Not only are they, um, not only do they create excess mucus, but they also are acidic. So you want to avoid foods and drinks in general that create acidity. Spicy foods is one of those things. You also want to avoid coffee. Caffeine, actually. Chocolate, coffee, energy drinks, green tea, black tea. They're the main ones, I think. I've probably forgotten one but you want to avoid having caffeine. Caffeine is that extra adrenaline that we get. Uh, it provides extra energy. It is a dehydrator uh, and you want to avoid that tension that associates or comes with having coffee. And in addition, if you are performing and you are nervous, the caffeine is not going to help your nerves. So keep that in mind. The other thing that you want to avoid is cold beverages or iced beverages simply because it's very similar to, and this is something that I tell my students, when you, if you imagine putting your hand in a bucket of ice, what happens to your hand? It goes cold, maybe causes a bit of numbness, maybe a bit of pain, you seize up, you have to put your hand out. It's the same with your voice, putting cold beverages over those vocal cords, uh, seizes them up, tightens them, uh, creates a little bit of discomfort. So you want to avoid that. Along with that, you also want to avoid carbonated beverages. Unless you want to be burping up stuff during your performance, that's up to you. <laughs> maybe it's part of your performance. Uh, but if not, you do want to avoid that. These are kind of the more, uh, I guess, common foods that you want to avoid. Obviously, high saturated uh, junk food, you know, I don't want to name any brands, but just think of fatty and oily foods. You want to avoid those because you don't want anything heavy. When you learn about vocal technique, you realize that you do actually use your stomach muscles and you're breathing quite a fair bit, that it ends up kind of imitating a, an accordion kind of movement. You really don't want that happening uh, during a performance with, you know, burgers and chips in your stomach. Not a good idea. These are some of the things that you want to avoid. And of course, I hope it's obvious, but avoiding smoking and alcohol. Alcohol numbs your throat. Now, I have seen, and I'm sure you've been aware of too, a lot of rockers or sometimes on during concerts, people like to take shots on stage uh, during or before a performance, even though it's really cool and it relaxes you. It is numbing so when you are singing you don't actually feel the full extent of your vocal use you can't feel if you're pushing too much it just numbs it and it's even worse if you've got a sore throat and you take a shot to numb it because then you don't know to the extent of what you're using your voice to so it's not a good idea be very careful as well when it comes to lozenges and sprays sometimes they can have numbing agents in them just be very careful look at the back of the packet it will say numbing agent and or alcohol so be aware of that some of the things you want to kind of have to help instead are things like uh, room temperature water, pH neutral, hydrating, keeps your voice warm and lubricated. You can have tea and specifically herbal tea because it's got no caffeine in it, soothes the throat. And one of the best things you can have is honey. Honey is a great antiseptic, anti-inflammatory inflammatory, <laughs> uh, food and is great for the voice and because of those properties. Plus it tastes really nice. Just be very careful when you're purchasing your honey. Make sure it is real honey. A uh, honey farmer once told me that you can actually tell if you're purchasing real honey by squeezing a little bit at the bottom of a bottle, filling up with water and swirling it around. If it's real honey, the shape at the bottom of the glass will actually imitate a honeycomb. And I found that hard to believe until I tried it, but it's actually true. Uh, Non-genuine honey will not make that shape. So just be aware of that for your own self. Um, other than that, that is pretty much it when it comes to health. Obviously, you can have uh, lozenges that don't have those numbing agents. Uh, you can have nasal sprays, preferably that aren't medicated, unless, of course, it is necessary for you and a doctor has prescribed that to you. And when it comes to general health, if you're feeling a bit under the weather and you know you need to sing, a hot shower is fantastic. Steam over your face is great. You can do the old fashioned, you know, boil a pot, put some eucalyptus drops in the water, get a tea towel, put it over your head and breathe in all those vapors. So what that will do is open up your sinuses and decongest you if you are feeling a bit unwell. 
So guys, that are a few tips for you of foods to have and not have when you know that you're singing. I hope that helped. Uh, these are some of the things that we talk in our vocal programs at Rise Academy of Music. But if you're not really interested in that and you just like this video and you want to see more, give a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment down below, let me know what you want to hear next. And I hope to see you next time. Rise above and love. Mwah. Bye.